It's Saturday, you know what that means, right? It is Amazon Cusp Returns Electronics Pallet Video Day. Today I've got three very large boxes that came on one wooden pallet. And the bottom box that I'm using to prop up this first box, this bottom box I think might weigh like 40 pounds. It's maybe not just 50, 40, it's heavy. It even has caution heavy stickers on like three sides of it. And this first box that we're gonna do, it probably weighs a good 35, 30 pounds itself. So these have got quite a bit of weight to them. Fingers crossed, it's not full of computer printer paper. Go ahead and cross your fingers for me if you would please. Because <laughs> printer paper can lead to a lot of weight in these boxes quickly. It's happened to me before. And I am hoping it is not full of printer paper, but we'll find out. But these three boxes have a total Amazon.com MSRP, if everything was new, but it's not as customer returns, $2,365. Pretty good price point, you know what I'm saying? But here's the crazy part. I got this pallet for a steal. You ready for this? $162. That includes taxes, Fees, 10% buyer's premium, no shipping cost. I buy locally, I pick up in person. I paid just a shade under 7% of MSRP. Yeah, that's really, really cheap. So hopefully this thing, I mean, it's pretty much, I can't lose money because I only paid 7%. It's almost impossible to lose on these three boxes, on the one pallet. It's impossible unless it's all printer paper <laughs> but here we go first box fingers crossed here goes nothing 162 bucks what did my money get me okay first box it oh I do see uh-oh. Go ahead and me pull out this first ream of computer paper. There's the first ream. Come on. It better not be all computer paper. I will be very upset. But here we go. First item that is an actual item. We've got an OtterBox case, Defender case for iPhone 5, 5S, and SE. Much older case, but it's still possibly around 10 bucks though, in that range. Oh, we got a bag of USB-C cables. Oh, we have a watch band, Series 1. So this would fit a Apple Watch Series 1. So I, I sell those for like between five and 10 bucks a piece. Here you've got some earbuds. I do not see a brand on them either. They are red in color and I don't see any branding on them. I don't even see any like earwax on them. So I don't think these are even used, but maybe about five bucks on those or so. Oh, actually, I'm, I'm going to keep this. I did have a couple of these, and I swore I kept them. Maybe from a pallet recently. I swore I kept this thing, and I can't find it anywhere. But this, you plug into like your iPhone or to your iPad. Then you can run a uh, USB, not USB, HDMI cord. Can't think. An HDMI cord straight from this into your TV set so you can put your iPad or your iPhone plug it straight into your TV set with this little contraption I've been trying to find these because I held back several of them but I can't find them so I'm happy I got another one don't lose that one stay right there let's see we've got a low shine wireless computer mouse open package item it's kind of cheapy five bucks on that
Okay, we've got a headset that's in uh, two pieces. Yeah, it's, it's not very good shape. Park zone. I don't know what this thing is. Park zone. Looks like this end makes noise. This end has a button on it. I want to research that a little bit. It's probably not, it's probably not very expensive, I bet. Just called a park zone. Then we've got iPhone cord. Ooh, cool. Zag at Slimbook. These are fantastic sellers. This thing looks factory packaged still. Yeah. This thing still looks factory packaged. So this is for the 10.5 inch iPad, iPad, iPad Pro, if I can talk. So much things sells for, if it was, you know, like 100% brand new, but I always knock off uh, price just because I always beat Amazon prices because if you want to sell stuff you got to beat Amazon So Amazon whoa, that's awesome That's a good item. So it sells new on Amazon for a hundred and nineteen dollars and ninety nine cents So it sells new for 120 this looks like what I have. I mean it literally looks like it's in new condition it Pretty much was purchased and just returned but I would still knock off like 20% of the price and I'd sell it for like around $100, maybe as low as 90, just depending on how fast I want to sell it. But I'm gonna try to get 100 bucks for it to start with. That's awesome right there. That one item covered upwards of what, 60 or so percent of what I pay for the entire palette and that one thing. Of course we got a phone, AT&T phone. You see these a lot. I get a lot of uh, like house phones and liquidation pallets now. I get a bunch. That's a good ten bucks though. Canal type. Oh, it just we just got some earphones. Brand is E three thousand C. Final is the brand. I've never heard of that brand. Probably ten bucks as long as they're not covered in earwax. Act you right, temperature monitor, but it's missing the little outdoor sensor because you put this part into your house and then you have a sensor that goes outdoors and the sensor is missing. But what's good is though, is that I get these, I get, uh, what, once a month or so in a pallet and sometimes this part of it, the face is cracked. This one is not, but the face will be cracked and so I keep the little white outdoor sensor for times like this or I just sell it by itself so the next time I get one where this part's damaged I'll keep the outdoor sensor put it with this and boom sell it for a good 15 bucks I got another one so those are bug biting me hold on I'm, I'm <laughs> it's just gonna look kind of weird I'm pulling up my flashlight on my phone. I feel like a bug biting me. I think I was totally imagining that. I was looking around for like, maybe like a spider or something. I don't see anything. Anyway, disregard that. I might cut that out of the video. I might keep it in. Show you the legitimacy, the authenticity of a palette video, you know. Or something like that. So this one actually, ooh, this one has a, has a longer cord to it. No, it just comes with a lightning cord. So okay, so I got two of these things now. So actually, I will set both of these to the side. Just in case if one of these do not work, I have another one to try. Awesome. Okay. Next, Beardscape for the beard and beyond. 
It's like a fancy beard trimmer. What I use to trim mine, I, I just use a $15 pair of clippers and uh, just trim the sides. You do the sides first. This is how I do it. Do the sides first, then you work in, then you work in. You know, like to like shape it. Of course, you know, I I do it my like my own way, but some fancy thing. 20 bucks on that, I bet. But yeah, I've got, I should probably buy more than that, but like I've got the same clippers that I've used. Honestly, I, I used to use those in college to cut my hair. That was, I went to college originally in the fall of 1998. So I've still got the same pair of clippers that I've used. And I actually had them when I was in high school. So I've had them since like maybe like 96 or 97, maybe my sophomore, junior year in high school whenever I started to like trim. So I've had the same clippers now for upwards of like 23 years maybe. They still work. <laughs> so I got my money's worth and I use that and like I use those just to trim the beard. The head, I use just shaving cream and, like an, and then like a razor. It's so much faster and it gets you that smooth bald, but I actually need to, anyway. I'm not going to do, you know, a beard and hair care tips in this palette video. I was just going off on a, my, my little side conversations that I have with my camera, you know, about items. iPhone cord. Oh, we have a staple gun. Okay. Oh, what is this? Music wire. I don't know what you'd use this for. It's like, I mean, it looks kind of like Precision Brand. I mean, it looks kind of like a a thin guitar string, but you'd have to cut it to to fit your guitar. I guess you guess you could though. The barcode's not covered up. I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look this thing up. So much it actually sells for because I'm kind of curious because I have never seen this before. But maybe I have. I just don't realize it. That's that's the possibility. So it pulls it up. It pulls it up for twenty five dollars and sixty one cents on Amazon. So if it sells for twenty five, yeah, I do like fifteen bucks just to just to just to move it. You got another shaver. We have a ladies Panasonic close curves ladies shaver with bikini trimmer. So yeah, stuff like this is usually in health and beauty, but it is electronics because it plugs into a wall, it runs on batteries, rechargeable. So I mean, technically it is electronics, but it's usually health and beauty. That's good, probably 20 bucks, I bet. If it's in like used condition, if it's absolutely brand new, which it usually hardly ever is, it'll go for less than that. Oh, we've, we have used shaving head replacements and they are heavily used, so that's gross. We have, this looks like this is actually for an iPhone uh, XS, like just a clear, clear case. A few things left this box. Another beard mustache trimmer. What's up with this? Doesn't look used. Find our 15, 20 bucks. Avery labels that go to donation stack. This is kind of cool. IRIG Blue Board. I've never seen this. IK Multimedia Musicians. This has to do with like kind of like uh, music recording, like audio recording, a wireless MIDI controller page turner. That's actually kind of kind of awesome. Ooh, it looks like is it still factory sealed? Nope, it's been opened up on that side. Disregard that. I'm going to look this thing up because I'm kind of curious. 802-5813-401-037. That's a good item. This sells new for $94.99 on Amazon. So $95 bucks if it was in new condition. Let's find out if this thing is new or used. But even if it's used, it might not even really be able to tell. Depend on if it was abused. Or I should say, is it even in there? Possibly it's not even in there. 
happens. Ooh, that looks very, like, nice packaging. Okay, we... There's batteries for it. This thing cost $95? Wow, okay. A page turner. Has to do with uh, MIDI, making beats, music recording. I mean, it, it, it might have been like used a couple times maybe, but I mean, it's like new condition. So it sells new for 95. Like I'm the kind of person that would knock off almost like 30% of the price just to sell it quickly. Cause I'm all about the quick flip. So like I would try to sell this thing for about 70 bucks just to move it quick, make that money turn itself, you know, to make more money. But I mean, some people could hold out for probably like maybe 80 bucks for this, but you know, my business model is the quick flip. Keep the money, keep it moving. You know what I'm saying? Keep it moving. Cause money makes money. If you're sitting on it, it's not making it. You've got to, you got to spend money to make money. You've got to make money to make more money. Oh, I didn't put in the instructions. I'm gonna cut this part out. <laughs> Be right back. All right, all set. Yeah, about about seventy bucks on that. We got some neon bulbs, Optilux, Extreme White XB neon bulbs. I guess those are replacement bulbs for something. For off-road use only. So I guess that goes into some kind of a vehicle. Okay, cool. So we got USB-C cords, two of those. Let's see. Looks like an AM FM radio. Uh, box is absolutely mangled. I think it actually sells new for, because I, I actually got it last week in a pallet. It sells new for like 15 bucks. Use like 10 in this kind of condition. I charge about five bucks for it if it works. That, that one of those tables. Oh, let's see what's... oh that's kind of nice. A Philips Hue white and color ambience outdoor spotlight. That Philips Hue stuff, that stuff can get, it can get kind of expensive. It can get kind of pricey. Let me take a little glance inside this box. See this looks, oh that still looks pretty good packaging. That's still all packaged up in that box. Yeah, this might, once again, this might be like a light new condition kind of item. Cause it's like the packaging still looks like it hasn't really been touched. So it sells new on, wow, on Amazon for $99.90 seven cents on Amazon. I thought it was maybe like 50 or 60 bucks. It's a hundred dollar item. So I think it might be pretty much like new condition again. I'll probably ask like 75 bucks for it. So between that thing, this recorder thing, there was something else earlier that was, oh, the, oh, the uh, Zag book. I think those three things combined are probably way over $200, maybe like 250. So yeah, I'm already in some killer profit already. Two things left in this box. We got a electric pencil sharpener, as long as it's not burnt up, about 10 bucks. And last item, PlayStation 2 Tiger Woods PGA Tour 07. Wow, that is gonna be a hard sell. This will honestly just be a donation because nobody's trying to buy an old golf game from 12 years ago. So, let me box this up. We'll be back with the next one. Oh, okay. This next box is extremely freaking heavy. This thing probably, I think it probably weighs 50 pounds. Like, no joke. This box is, like, it is really heavy. Almost too heavy for this size box. They're usually hardly ever this heavy. So I'm very curious what is in this thing. You've got heavy labels on three out of four sides. 
what is in this is causing so much freaking weight. Please don't be computer paper. Please no. Uh, I don't really see what's causing the weight. Let's just start digging in this thing and find out what's causing all this weight in here. So first thing we've got a uh, TV antenna. Get your digital cable, or not digital, your high def broadcast. 10 bucks on that. Oh, we got a VTech children's watch, the DX2. Uh, I've got replacement cords for this thing, so it's not a big deal. So that's a good 20 bucks then. Oh, smart things outlet. Okay, it's not fetter sealed, it's been opened up. But let me look this thing up real quick. So the Smart Things Outlet sells new on Amazon right now. It's on sale for $29.99. So like I'll try to get like 20 bucks out of it. Not that expensive really. Customize. Oh, it's just it's just a strap. I might actually keep this strap. Home phone. Good 10 bucks on that. Oh, that's nice. Logitech G602 gaming mouse. But let's actually see if that's the mouse that's actually in here, though. Oh, yeah. It's the correct mouse. And there's the dongle for it. So it's all there. Cool. I was hoping that, because sometimes, you know, you open up a package. If it's supposed to be, like, a nice mouse, you open it up. And what's inside of it is some cheapy $5 Amazon branded you know, basics mouse, that's... Yeah. So I honestly have zero idea how much this thing sells for. I've never have received this one before in my years of pout flipping, but we're gonna find out. So that sells new, or now it's on sale for $35.70. It's like used-ish condition, so it's like 20, 25 bucks, not a bad item. Some kind of attachment to something. Oh, we got a pot. Oh, these are freaking expensive pins. These pilot pins. I received this before in pallets. And these pins can get like $200. Like stupid expensive. Okay, this thing is used because this is like a, it's just like a very upscale fountain pen. You've got blue ink. Like on the top of this thing has been used. It is not new. So this could be anywhere from 100 bucks, 200 bucks, something like that. Let me look this thing up if I can. I don't even know if I can even look this thing up. I don't see a model number on this thing. Oh, it's underneath of it. Okay, so this thing is the Pilot Metal Falcon Collection Fountain Pen. It's an expensive one. That's that's what I figured. These pens can get stupid expensive. So this pen sells new for two hundred and forty bucks. Actually, let me change the color to like a red color. It's still two forty at red. So this thing sells new for two hundred forty bucks in used condition. This has to be at least about half price. So I'll probably price thing out about one hundred twenty bucks. I'll see if I can get 124. That actually might be too cheap because these pens are so expensive and people are willing to buy a used one that's in fantastic condition like this one and you know pay good money for it still. So it's probably actually between 120 and 150, but I'm gonna ask 120 and that might be too cheap. Maybe. But that's awesome. That's another really good item in this palette. We got gift bags or gift boxes. Actually, I'll probably I'll probably keep these for Christmas time for myself to use. We have a Scotch laminator. That's a good 20 bucks. Okay, what's causing the weight in this thing? I don't see anything heavy. We got some more computer paper or printer paper. It's that weird long size too. We have a USB adapter Bluetooth 4.0. Sells new for $14.99. USB Bluetooth dongle receiver. So yeah, I'll probably try to get like 10 bucks out of it in that range. Lightning car charger. We got some folders. 
five pocket, uh, five star folders. I don't see, oh, hold on. I, I see more printer paper. Printer paper. Printer paper. So four reams of printer paper that actually will create some weight in a box very quickly. Okay, now the box is kind of empty. I actually can see it now. A watch band, a 44 mil. Actually, that would fit my my new uh, Apple Watch, but I don't like the band now. We got iPhone cord, iPhone cord, iPhone cord, iPhone cord. Let's see. Pull out all these cords to get them out of here. iPhone cord. Okay. Jumbo display, waterproof timer. Good 10 bucks right there. We have a bag of Apple watch bands, a bag of like four of them. So like five bucks a piece, like 20 bucks for that bag. Surge protector. I don't think we need any more around the house. I think I think we've got, I'll probably sell that thing then for like 10, eight to $10. iPhone case. Liquids without, oh, you put your liquids in there. Little, little bottles. Oh, cool. Rush, time stands still. I'm keeping this. Yes, this I am keeping, because I love Rush. This is just some kind of a Rush, the story of a band, its fans, and a 40-year relationship. Cool, it's a, yeah, so it, it, it is Blu-ray too. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm keeping that. That is mine. I love Rush. If you like Rush, comment down below. Rush Rocks. Africa's Great Civilizations, about five bucks on that. And we have a record. We've got Pink Floyd, The Division Bell, limited edition blue vinyl. Let's see. See what, see what it looks like, what kind of condition. This is like a fancy. Oh, cool. Look at that. I love the colored records or designs on them they're so much cooler than just like the plain black ones in my personal opinion this is actually this might have a little bit of value to it this uh pink floyd record oh okay this record sells new for forty dollars and 48 cents in new condition it still has the original film on it the original stickers it was just opened up and probably like played a couple times so i'll probably try to get about 25 bucks for that pink floyd record I'm not going to keep it because I'm not I'm not like a huge Pink Floyd fan. I've already got a couple of records of Pink Floyd. So I'm good on, on Pink Floyd. Yeah, that's probably a good 25 bucks though. Triumph Des Willens. I don't know what that's about. David Bowie, a reality tour. So this we got a tour. Uh, DVD or Blu-ray? DVD. Got a tour DVD of David Bowie. That's probably a good 10 bucks right there. Wow, we've got a very, very long... Uh, I'm drawing a blank. H HDMI cord. The Murders of Richard III. Is this an audio cassette thing or is this DVD? Or CD? Oh, it's it's CD. Murders of Richard III. Nifty. We've got... Oh, this will be replacements for a men's shaver. Like the heads for it. About 10 bucks on that. And then carrying case for a 5-inch GPS. Man, this box is just full of stuff. Screen protector. Oh, I might keep... This fits my watch. 44, I actually don't have an R now, it's charging, but my Apple Watch this fits a 44 millimeter series Apple Watch screen protector. I'm keeping that. We've got some charging cords. It's not iPhone cords actually for the first time in a long time. It's got a weird charging cord. 
And we've got a couple records here at the very, very bottom of this box with all the weight on top of them. So hopefully the weight did not warp them, but I'll find out whenever I try them out. First one, we got Ford and Lopatin. Oh, it's numbered. 2,173 out of 2,500. So they only made 2,500 of this record. It is hand numbered on the back of it down there in the corner. I can't, I can't tell them in the camera screen if you can see it, but it is actually hand numbered out of 2,500. Maybe 15, 20 bucks or so. It's not, it's not like really worth a whole lot. Stan Getz and the Oscar Peterson Trio, good 15 bucks. We got Hosier, I think I'm, I'm saying it right. Good 15 bucks on that one. Fleetwood Mac. I'm not really much of a Fleetwood Mac fan, but it's probably a cool record though. Another 15 bucks. I mean, my tabletop is like full right now. Eagles, the long run. Yeah, I don't need this one. No, I'm good on this one. Probably good 15 bucks on that Eagles there. Last item in box number two, we've got Ike and Tina Turner. Respect the class, this 50th anniversary edition of Ike and Tina Turner. Good 15 bucks on that one. So, that's all for box number two. That box had a lot of stuff crammed in there. That's probably why it weighed so much. It had so much stuff in there. So, I'll be right back with the third and final box. This third box is the lightest box of all three. So this one might not have a lot of stuff in it. The, the second box had a lot of stuff. That one I probably took 15 minutes to go through that box. Had a, that thing was loaded. Oh yeah, this one doesn't have much. <laughs> it doesn't have very much in it. Got a record player though. Yeah, this box is gonna be a fast one. This thing's leaking out stuff. I don't know what it is. Let me just put that down. I do not know what's leaking out of that thing. It's like, I don't know. Next, we have a record player, a Wakoder turntable player, Wakoder Enjoy Life. Looks like a cool one. I do not need a new one. I've got one back there. Oh, that thing looks brand new. That thing looks legit. Let me look this thing up. Let's see what kind of value is on this. But yeah, this thing appears that it's brand new. So this record player sells, okay, it's usually $145, but now it's on sale for $55.98. It retails at $145. Wow. Well, right, but yeah, it's on sale now for pretty much like what, $56 on sale. So it's still a pretty nice record player for $56. And this one looks like it is pretty much in like new condition. I mean, it looks like it's in new condition. So I'll probably, if it sells new for 56 on Amazon, I'll probably try to get 40 out of it in that range. Good item now. Well, I think it's two, three or three things left in it. Keyboard dust cover. Yamaha branded, brand new. Still has the, it's still factory sealed and everything. Barcode's actually exposed too. Thirteen dollars, so I'll sell for ten. Yeah, it looks gross. I don't know what that was. It was a corpus of nastiness on it. Whatever was in that box I was leaking out is in the bottom of, the, of this box too. Oh, we got some three D filament, uh, printer filament, white, one kilogram spool. Okay. I sold it about 15 bucks. So that's all three boxes. That was fun. I had a lot of really high-end stuff in those boxes. I had like, th I think three things that sold, maybe four items that sold over $100 brand new. I think there was like, what, that pin brand new was like $240 pin. 
Then you had like the Zag cover, and then some the MIDI player thing. Yeah, this actually this this pal had like at least four items I think that were around a hundred dollars plus. One item about two dollars plus. The record player retailed for like what one forty five, but right now it's on sale for fifty six dollars. Crazy sale right now. Actually, I might just hold on to it and wait for the prices to go back up on them before I sell it, because that's like a hundred dollars off almost. That that's a really good sale. So yeah, this this was a good palette. It was a fun palette. A lot of a lot of good stuff in this palette. Very pleased with it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And I've got videos coming up every single day. As long as I'm breathing, I'll keep making videos daily. Some days there'll be two videos on the same day. So just because you see one video doesn't mean there won't be another video coming a few hours later. So. Always be on the lookout for that. And if you want to, go ahead and go down below. Click the little bell. That will notify you whenever I upload a new video. And I will see you next time. I'm out.